Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Inside today, a 2021 Explorer ST. Uh, my first time behind the wheel, or it's gonna be behind the wheel, because I have not driven this thing yet, uh, of a 2021 Explorer ST. Uh, of course, it's got a really nice interior. Uh, we've reviewed many Explorers, so I'm not gonna go into depth of a review, but let's go take a quick look at this for Explorer from the outside. So, so this 2021 go. Ford Explorer is finished off in a ingot silver, which is, you know, kind of fits it really well. It's a nice looking and a very aggressive looking SUV, in my opinion. Of course, we got the blacked out grill. We got the ST badge. We got all types of LED headlights and fog lights. We got your 21 inch wheels here. Uh, this has got the optional 21 inch wheels with two 75 millimeter tires all around. These are Pirelli Scorpio Zero all season. Of course, we got the uh, optional brake package, which has 14.3 inch rotors. So 14 little or 14 inch rotors with uh, specific uh, high performance brake pads. Of course, we got 13.8 inches of disc in the rear. Uh, these are 275 millimeters all around. Uh, so it's got a really nice line. I love the way this looks. Obviously, it's got all blacked out, uh, all, all the uh, exterior the window trims and everything is blacked out. Of course, coming back here, we got those red calipers as well with the big tires. Uh, so guys, these are more of a sport performance oriented explorers. You have basically 10% stiffer springs, uh, stiffer shocks. You got a millimeter wide uh, sway bars as well. So you got a little more and more of a stiff, you know, more of a sport ride to this explorer. So just taking a quick look at it over here. Of course, we got dual exhaust tips. We got 5,600 pounds feet of towing. Of course, this has got your ST badge in here all over, the blacked out Ford Explorer. Really nice looking. I love this aggressive kind of dark looking with the uh, silver color. Looks really, really good. So awesome looking. The brakes just kind of stand out. So of this performance version. So really like the way this Explorer ST looks. More of a, a kind of like a police package kind of thing looking so. Um, really beautiful looking SUV I think so no start off on this one unfortunately so since we're ready to review a lot of these explorers I'm gonna take just a quick look we got black leather all around uh, really sweet looking explorer so we're gonna go into the business of this all right, let's do a quick explorer, real check quick. what's underneath the hood of this Explorer ST come here guys and we lift off the hood of this explorer now we obviously we don't have any type of assistance hydraulic so we're gonna put that latch here real quick so guys quick quick here we got the 3.3 liter twin turbo v6 producing 400 horsepower 415 pound feet of torque that is going to the all-wheel drive system that this uh explorer has obviously this is a real real drive by a system that just got a 10 speed automatic transmission that goes to that uh all-wheel drive system so 400 horsepower not a lot to look at. See, we got a little bar here across, a little more stiffer for the suspension to have a little more stiffness in the chassis because, of course, this is all performance oriented. So, obviously, you can do some mods into this V6, but uh, you know, it's a nice strong power plant. So, that's about it, guys, on this one here. Uh, not much of a, we'll talk about some gas stocks, but there we go, guys. So, we got that Explorer in black here as you can see that's really nice the way this looks this explore real quick guys here so of course we got some aluminum trim bang and olsen 12 speaker sound system we got black piano assist here black piano trim here of course our four performance logo all type of leather really nice aggressive seats here with the perforated leather and uh, of course our st badge on the steering wheel so let's go ahead guys and get in and let's shut the door let's go and uh get this girl out on a drive this one here that is you know performance oriented explorer um we do have variable modes here of drive of course we are and uh we're normal we can go ahead and get the slippery we have all kinds of that we got a full address system you know we got echo we got slippery we got rain snow 
but we're gonna put it in sport since we are in a nice day in sunny florida before we get that cold weather in um of course for 2022 there's not so much changes uh, for 2022 you can get this st in rear wheel drive only which will be fantastic especially in florida if you live in uh, you know uh, snow states then obviously that's not going to be an option but for 2022 you can get these things in just rear wheel drive with all this power so um awesome looking display as you can see we got you know a uh, digital display. you know what i think we got our seat warmers or no we don't have them on but we have a uh, 12 inch display here which is all digital display here for the uh for your information here of course we get a 12 inch display here for your all the information we got a nice stereo bag and option stereo sounds fantastic so those Sony AC, of course, heated and cool seats, all kinds of connections, and of course, we got all kinds of modes here, seal descent, and all that kind of stuff that I reviewed in other explorers. So let's go ahead, guys, and get this girl out on a drive. That's gonna be my first time behind the wheel of an Explorer ST. We are in sport mode. Uh, let's put up the window here so we have a little bit less noise. And um, all right, let's go ahead and head on out. Real quick, of course, we got a reverse camera as well. As you can see, we got we can definitely uh, zoom out, zoom in. Uh, you know, it's got we got trajectory lines as well. We got a 360 degree camera as well to look at your front and rear um, sensors as well. So plenty of amenities that all all the explorers that I've reviewed before, and of course USB connections and that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's go ahead and get out and take a quick drive of this Explorer ST. Let's put a little volume down a little more. So guys, big fan, this is the first time I'm driving the ST model, even though it's not a newer 2022. Uh, basically, it's almost the same thing, except of course, now you can get it in rear wheel drive, as I just mentioned. Um, same type of steering wheel, maybe minor, minor details, but other than that, it's about the same. Um, I love the steering wheel, it's nice and thick. i got nice stitching on it, ST badges here on the bottom. And uh, yeah, you can tell the suspension is definitely a little stiffer than the regular Explorers that I drove. I did drive a in the recent ones but i haven't driven the 2022 model ones which i'll get to drive as soon as they come in because you can see guys there's not much of a inventory now at all um we got some work trucks that are going out but you feel the brake pad it feels pretty aggressive too this has got the uh this has got the optional high performance brake pads on it i definitely feel them i believe the red calipers give you that so a little bit bigger rotors and much more braking performance this is a heavy vehicle you're probably looking at 4800 pounds of explorer sd so plenty of heaviness in this vehicle so all right so we're gonna take a right turn and since we're in sport mode while we have a truck going out oh yeah <laughs> yeah it's holding gears a little longer i'm sure you can use the power we have little paddles as well here in the back to help you out but wow this thing's pretty quick very quick suv um I like the way it feels. I mean, let's scoot back my seat a little bit to get it more adjusted. Um, of course, you know, regular SS, as, as all Explorers are, this feels really nice. It's got, you know, it's, it's quiet, but it's got some sportiness to it. Um, it feels tighter. Yes, absolutely. It does feel tighter than a regular Explorer, you know, XLT or anything like that. So let's check out the handling a little bit. Yeah, this feels definitely more direct. The steering was pretty direct to be honest. Wow, I'm impressed. This, the, the stability on it's pretty nice too. Um, even though it's got 10% stiffer shocks, a little bit stiffer, uh, excuse me, springs and shocks, you got a thicker anti-robot. You can probably still improve it a little bit, but it feels excellent to be honest. It's got really, you know, we got plenty of grip from those Pirelli Scorpion tires that are 275 millimeters all around, um, which feel fantastic. So, and then we got a Ford, uh, what do you call it we got another ford truck there so let's test out the brake guys oh wow yeah the brakes are definitely sport if you hear that sport exhaust on this oh yeah this feels really nice very impressive yeah oh yeah it's got some good brakes and the, there's no brake dive it feels pretty stable in braking so wow really impressive with this st wow really nice i'm definitely much different than than the 2.5 liter or the, the other one that i drove so let's check out the turns i 
Yeah, I can use the uh, the manual shifter so just go down the six and relax a little bit. We got 10 gears, of course, so it's not easy going through all the gears, but wow, this thing drives pretty nice, really nice. Of course, you can use the paddles here in the back, which is what I'm doing, but we can just put it back to seventh gear and relax it a little bit. Uh, very nice, this thing feels very taut, it feels st very stable much more than I thought it would this thing would feel the steering wheel feels fantastic in your hands wow very nice let's make sure I got some cool air into this GoPro 10 because um, I get a little more AC here excellent excellent uh, interior I mean this is of course this is not I used to have a Kia Telluride basically the same type of SUV, three row, seven row, mid-size SUV. Yeah, the killer ride's a little bit more push inside, but this has got the performance. It just feels like a monster. This transmission response is fantastic. Fantastic on this. And you can see the reps are kept going. So if you wanna, if we, if we switch modes, for example, um, we're in sport right now, as you can see, uh, let's switch to we're in haul mode. No, we're not because we got to go back and see if we can switch to Well, we have nothing trail. Let's go back to normal and see how this goes and see so, Of course, it's not as aggressive and we have no tech as well. So it just gives you a speedometer, but um, Now nah, let's go back. Let's go back to sport um, Really really nice. This thing feels in sport for sure. Uh, very aggressive uh, shifts. Yeah, that you can tell it's a little more aggressive in the shifts. You can definitely feel it more. Uh, but this thing feels fantastic. Yeah, much more than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, you can definitely push this thing. Let's put the AC down a little bit. Uh, you can definitely push this much harder. It's got a lot of tire. It's got plenty of mechanical grip I can feel. And this thing just feels taut. It feels taut. It feels planted to the ground, which is very nice. I mean, nothing that I wasn't expecting as much performance out of this thing as, you know, as, as it's meant to be. So we got no sunroof. I wish we had a sunroof here. But we got all kinds of amenities here, lights, all kinds of things. Just as normal as an Explorer will feel. So let's go this way, guys. And uh, yeah, let's give it a little, it's a little right away. Yeah, this this in the yeah this in handles. Even though it's not a lightweight vehicle, it's got tons of power. 400 pound, 415 pound feet of torque at your fingertips. Wow. Yeah, this has got. I'm sure with a little bit of massaging, maybe messing with the ECU, a little bit of uh, tuning, this thing will be a blast. I've seen these things do a lot, pretty quick quarter miles. Um, and they don't. And they handles pretty decent. Now, obviously, it's a heavy vehicle. Obviously, you can't deny, you can't uh, defy the laws of fixes of a heavy vehicle. But um, this thing feels fantastic, nonetheless. I'm really impressed. Yeah, suspension is a little stiffer. I definitely feel the suspension stiffer. But uh, wow, it feels very good. It feels excellent, to be honest. Um, very sporty, stiff. Yeah, sporty ride. Um, the brakes. Wow, yeah, the brakes are really nice. They grab quite well. Yeah, these are a little bit grabbier pad, but they feel good. They give you confidence, especially in a vehicle like this. I'm sure they won't last on a track or something more aggressive too long, but um, maybe with some stainless steel brake lines and some uh, racing fluid, we give you a little more help from that. So, wow, this thing feels really, really good. It's got a great stereo. We got the mid 80s, but. Fantastic radio. Let's see if we can get a station guys here. Not in the 70s. Yeah, why not? Absolutely, yes, yes, let's dance. Alright, guys, we're waiting here for traffic. Is this a traffic area? Obviously, yes. Uh we can go on this side. A lot of gears to go through but it's just very quick i'm i'm not really pressing it a lot because of course we got some traffic and high traffic ahead but man this thing feels nice obviously gas mileage is gonna suck at this type of level of sports you're probably gonna get in the low low teens probably um this is probably rated in around 18 i'll put those up number for you guys but man this is a pretty nice and the brakes feel fantastic as you can see you can turn it in and just press it and it responds wow yes this is very nice 
definitely much more sport than I would have thought. Uh, defies the weight a little bit. Um, really, really nice. Wow, this thing can be fun, to be honest. Very fun. Lots of grip. I mean, the food, yeah, I'm very impressive. Um, this will be a little fun in some back roads. Fantastically, you can tow well. 5,600 pounds of towing. You got all the amenities, cool seats, heated seats, navigation. Uh, I wish we had a sunroof. I'd love to surf on this thing. But um, first time driving the ST, very impressive. Thank you to Barto Ford. A big shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Ford Explorer ST. Now, this is a 2021 model. It is used model. Uh, it only has 10,400 miles on it, as you can see right, right now. So it's a pretty low mileage um, Explorer ST, but it does feel great. Uh, let's put it back in park. But it uh, feels fantastic. Lots of power, very good braking performance. The brakes feel fantastic. Uh, definitely, I recommend getting that brake upgrade if you're going to get an Explorer ST, especially if the 2022s. Uh, wow, this is really nice, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this drive of this Explorer ST. Uh, thank you very much. Please subscribe if you like this type of content. We'll be creating some more cars. And uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.